Hi, Jesse Richman here. Uh, Rumex asked me to review their Cross Action Capsule Rex's forceps, and this is a video of the first time I used them. Now, I like to start my Rex's with a cystotome and fold the capsule before switching to Rex's forceps. These forceps have a pivot point 8.5 millimeters from the tip, allowing you to open the forceps wider inside the eye compared to the width of the forceps in the incision. The shaft is curved to make it easier to reach the capsule. The shaft is also a little sturdier than some other micro Rex's forceps. The tips are very sharp. If you like to start your Rex's with forceps and not a cystotome, they are definitely sharp enough to do that. I'm working through a 2.4 millimeter incision, so you can see there is plenty of room in the incision with these forceps. The forceps grab the Rex's nicely. As I do the rexes, notice how easily they maneuver within the incision and how little torque there is on the eye. There are engravings on the forceps to guide you. There's engravings at 2.5 millimeters and 5 millimeters. And also you can see how easy it is to control the size of the rexes with these to make your rexes very uniform as well. I want to briefly show another company's cross-action Rex's forceps and how once I got stuck in the incision, um, notice that there's a little flick. Uh, I did not have this issue with the Rumex version. Overall, uh, it's a well-constructed instrument that works nicely inside the eye. Uh, the tips are sharper than what I'm accustomed to. I would say these uh, particular Rex's forceps are best for someone who prefers not to use a cystotome. And if that's you, you could certainly be very efficient in making a nicely controlled rexus with these forceps.